Ken Rell here for Scholastic Professional Media. I'm interviewing Kristen Atkins. She's with Qualcomm. Uh, Kristen, um, tell us what you do for Qualcomm and also tell us some, something about the trends you see in wireless. Sure. So Qualcomm is a technology company and a wireless technology company. And they're, you know, we're just at the very early stages with bringing wireless technology into schools. So even though we've been funding pilot programs that demonstrate the use of wireless technologies for several years now, we realize that we're still at the beginning, at, at the beginning. but we're seeing a sea change for sure. And I think we'll see um, devices continue to come down. The, the computing power of smartphones uh, continues to rise. And then um, tablet costs. Well, I think we're going to see a lot, of more, a lot more tablets in the next 6 to 12 months in, at a price point where, that actually schools could afford. So, uh, Kristen, how do you see tablets uh, being used in um, education classrooms? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're a mobile, te a mobile technology company, right. so we want to know how the student takes that device and brings it outside of school walls. So it gives them an opportunity to learn and uh, connect with each other 24-7, no matter where they are. So that's what we feel is going to be most significant, is giving students access to their learning materials and each other 24-7. So you're more concerned with one-to-one -one solutions and devices that do that? Right, in a mobile environment. So things that, um, for example, a, a, la a wired laptop wouldn't be able to do are augmented reality. So being able to take your phone outside um, and look at geotags in your community and learn from those tags. We're, we're developing some educational experiences with a few companies that will be coming out in September, but really taking advantage of mobile is what we're interested in. Okay, Kristen, where can educators find out more about uh, uh, Qualcomm, about uh, wireless uses of, of digital you know, technology, mm -hmm. as well as um, other things that might be valuable in a classroom? Well, you can go to our website at qualcomm.com, and Wireless Reach is the initiative where we fund different pilot projects around the world that demonstrate the use of wireless technology, and also wirelessedtech.com. That's the conference where we bring together um, all of the technology vendors and state and local and federal uh, policy makers, as well as educators and theorists in October in D.C. Kristen, one last question. Uh, at the uh, DC uh, event, what sorts of things are, are showcased there at those sorts of events? I think we'll be seeing a lot of innovation there because this is purely focused on wireless, so not just one-to-one. -one. This is taking advantage of the mobile device, so software that takes advantage of real-time feedback to teachers and parents. As I mentioned, augmented reality, I think we're, we're going to see some interesting trends there. Um, and then all the different types of applications now that are available for teachers and students to learn in and out of the classroom. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks.